Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create Active Directory group in Microsoft Dynamics AX. Uh, and um, just to let you know that uh, if you create Active Directory group in Microsoft Dynamics AX, it makes the security of Microsoft Dynamics AX handling really easy because you don't have to do much on the, uh, the Microsoft Dynamics AX side. Let's say that you have a user uh, that was part of Active Directory group and he left the company you all you need to do is actually take that uh, user off of that group and if there are uh, users who are in similar roles uh, in um, Active uh, Microsoft Dynamics AX you can create um, a group in Microsoft uh, Active Directory group and 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 give that role to that particular group so anytime you need to add a new employee that that needs to be in the same group all you need to do is actually basically add it from Active Directory and so adding removing users from Active Directory is much easier uh, than um, in Microsoft Dynamics AX so um, I'm going to qu quickly show you that uh, how to do that and what we're gonna do we're gonna go through the demo of creating the user and then we're gonna go through the demo of removing the user from Active Directory and see that if that user can still access Microsoft Dynamics AX. So let's get to it. Uh, I have a server up here where I have installed Microsoft Dynamics AX client and I'm sysadmin on Microsoft Dynamics AX so I can go ahead and create users um, and groups uh, in Microsoft Dynamics AX. So let's click on users and click new user uh, up here you have an option that it's an Active Directory user or it's a group. So what we're going to do is since we're creating Active Directory group, we're going to go ahead and um, um, select that. Uh, before we do uh, go too much deep into that, I'm going to show you where I have my Active Directory um, real quick that I have created a group. This is my Ac Active Directory group and this is my group. When I created that group, that group does need to be global in terms of uh, uh, um, Microsoft Dynamics AX to actually recognize that group uh, when you import that group. So this is my group, and if you look at the members, I have two users, Kevin Bailey and Rohit Sharma. These are two members in my, my group. So what I'm going to do is actually uh, take care of the security part from this side, from Active Directory part, uh, than uh, Microsoft Dynamics AX and that is the whole purpose of using really Active Directory in Microsoft Dynamics AX and it's pretty slick. So just wanted to quickly show you that uh, these are two members and these are the members that we're going to uh, uh, run Microsoft Dynamics AX once we put the group in there and assign a role to that particular group. So let's go back to the um, this is group this is Microsoft Dynamics AX client so I'm going to do AX user I'll do that this is just a user ID of that particular group so user name would be my group and domain name would be tech brothers and alias I'll put my group as well so we're gonna go ahead and enable that as you can see make sure that if that group doesn't exist in Active Directory you are going to run into an error that this group or particular user doesn't exist in Microsoft uh, in Active Directory so you won't be able to go further so we're gonna go ahead and close that and as you can see that um, up here account type it would show that this is Active Directory group and now our next experiment is um, that we're gonna go ahead and uh, assign uh, this is right now there's a by default system user uh, for this uh, particular um, uh, group so what we're gonna go ahead and do and edit it and we're gonna assign uh, let's assign a role uh, let's do system admin uh, just for demo purposes you don't want to do uh, everybody really system admin but I'm gonna go ahead and select that because we wanted to show that uh, what it can do and what it can't do so go ahead and do the system admin I'm gonna click OK and this system admin is Microsoft Dynamics system admin so we're gonna go ahead and uh, save that So we're going to go ahead and close and now since I have two users in the Active Directory group which is one is Kevin Bailey and other is Rohit Sharma. So what we're going to do is we're going to close this client 
and uh, as you can see that there was only group there was no user uh, such as Kevin Bailey or um, Rohit Sharma so I'm going to go ahead and run this client as Kevin Bailey and I'm gonna give the password I have a setting that it'll it's gonna ask me again the password when I go into the client which is okay I'll put the password again all right so if you go ahead and ignore this part uh, what we're gonna do is click on system admin as you can see um, we're uh, connected as Kevin Bailey and that Kevin Bailey can do anything since he's a system admin so uh, well, right now um, if you notice here Kevin Bailey has appeared as a user but look at that user ID it's $7DIC so that is the only part that it makes whenever user until user doesn't log into Microsoft Dynamics AX but once it logs in it creates these user user ID dollar seven but that doesn't mean anything really what we're gonna do is let's say that Kevin Bailey has left the company right and we're gonna go ahead and remove that from Active Directory and we're gonna come back and see that if Kevin Bailey can use Microsoft Dynamics client and still is a system admin so we're gonna go ahead and close that just to mention here dollar seven D one C these are these become orphans if your role changes um, or you leave the company so it's it is much easier to to uh, clear the orphan or take care of the orphan user IDs and delete them from the system rather than you go one by one and delete actual users so that is a, a big plus using my um, active directory group instead of um, Act active directory user so what we're gonna go uh, we're gonna close this we're gonna go back to my active directory and I am going to take Kevin Bailey out of this so yes apply okay so Keep in mind that in my, my, my computers are not all that um, um, beefy, so there would be a little bit, little bit latency involved. So let's go ahead and run as, uh-oh, um, no, we're going to run as Kevin Bailey. So right click, run as different user. Kevin Bailey keep in mind that we have removed that from Active Directory so I'm going to do okay don't show that click OK as you can see Kevin Bailey has no permission he was system admin he can't do anything right now so for him the Microsoft Dynamics AX client all the access has been removed so let's uh let's close this and add Kevin Bailey back to that user and see if we can um, log in as a system admin as far as Kevin Bailey concerns so I'm gonna go ahead in my Active Directory let me go ahead and add Kevin Bailey again alright it's added so we're gonna go back to our Dynamics AX client right click run as admin oh no not run as admin I apologize about that run as different user because uh, I'm going to cancel this out real quick so shift right click run as different user Kevin Bailey and then put the password And as you can see, he's back sysadmin. And if you click on system admin, 
you will see that Kevin Bailey is back to sys system admin. So this is the advantage of uh, using Active Directory group in Microsoft Dynamics AX and I am big fan of Active Directory. It makes much easier to manipulate the security from Microsoft Dynamics a AX side. So uh, again, one more thing up here. Uh, if you notice that we added Kevin Bailey and user ID did not change. So it's not going to create every time you remove and uh, uh, bring it back uh, the the user ID will remain the same all we need to do is um, uh, clear the orphan user uh, if he leaves the company with the dollar uh, 70 IC so um, that's it that's how you add Active Directory group in Microsoft Dynamics AX I hope it helps